Hey everyone, I hope you are enjoying the rains in Bangalore. Welcome back to Chokor Sumling. We are reading Lam and we are making life meaningful day by day. And we are on the sections of refuge. Let's get started. Day 139. Here we are. Day 139. Quote. The Buddha has neither suffering nor fear of suffering. End quote. Lama Zopar Text. To come to rely on the Buddha, we must investigate and see his incredible qualities. There are many ways to do this. The stories about his life, both before and after his enlightenment, are a great source of inspiration. In the ancient Indian state of Magadha, King Ajhata Shatru was jealous of Buddha's power and the great following he was attracting. So he set loose a crazy, untamed elephant to crush the Buddha while he and his Sangha were on their daily arms round. When the elephant charged towards the Buddha, his Arhat's followers were completely terrified and used their psychic powers to fly into the sky to escape. Only the Buddha remained placidly where he was on the road. Before the elephant reached him, the Buddha spread out his hands and five snow lions appeared transforming into a circle of fire that protected him. Subdued by the power of the Buddha, the elephant stopped and knelt before him. The Buddha's great love and compassion completely tamed the wild animal. After the elephant was completely devoted to the Buddha and followed him everywhere. There are many other stories like this in the scriptures that show how Guru Shakyamuni Buddha was completely free from all fear and suffering. By destroying both his gross and subtle delusions, he freed himself from the two great fears and therefore he is completely trustworthy guide. We can take refuge in the Buddha without the slightest fear that he lacks the power to lead us out of all suffering and its causes. The three big recalls of the day are, to rely on the Buddha, we must investigate and see his incredible qualities. In Magadha, the Buddha tamed a crazy wild elephant let loose by King Ajata Shatru. The Buddha is a trustworthy guide who is completely free from all fear and suffering. Well, that's it for today. I hope you can meditate a little on Shakyamuni Buddha as you enjoy the rains in Bangalore. I'll see you all tomorrow on day 140. Till then, bye-bye from Chokor Sumling.